For active balancing to work, active balancing condition should be met. The first one is opening voltage. The second one is open voltage difference. So I will show you on the BM on the software. The first one is balancing voltage, and the second is difference voltage difference. And the second thing is you need to make sure your BMS is upgraded, like it has a latest upgrade. You can check it here, like software version. You can check it here. So if it's not upgraded, we'll send you the file. You can upgrade it, or you can also upgrade it through your uh, mobile app. So you can check here. We have already connected with uh, with a power supply. So the charging current is 2.7 volt, 2.7 amps, uh, and it has triggered the this first. It has triggered a single voltage level high here, but it's still the balancing is still on. It can still balance. Everything is fine here. So we will try to trigger the uh, level two and it will the balance will be still working so there is no issue in the balancing so we have triggered the single voltage level two when you trigger the single voltage level the charging mosfet goes off so the charging mosfet is off but it's still balanced there is a balancing switch is still on and balancing current is still 0, 0.0 some 0 0.89 amps so it is still balancing even even though if we if we trigger the level two so our UART, UART cable are not isolated the voltage that can withstand is max up to 5 volt uh, they cannot be connected to other devices besides pc so the only device they can be connected is the pc you can connect uh, can or 485 to other devices they, the maximum current they can withstand is uh, 25 volt so for our standard cable uh, it comes with 450 millimeter so we have an optional cable that then that's length up to 800 millimeter